Hello, in this video, I would like to talk about my simulation results. So you can see them by clicking on view charts and then you can click on forecast charts. So you can see, click here, you can get all the forecasts. I have four companies in this example and I open it up. So now you can see what's the risk associated with investing in Coke. So if I invest in Coke every month, $1,000 for the next five years, and if I sell everything, at the end of the 50, fifth year, um, I can see that there's 8.15, 8, around 8% 8 chance that I will lose money. My return, annual return will be negative. And if my risk definition is not beating the market S&P 500 giving 9% on average, I could type here 0 0.09, and you can see that there's a chance of losing 85, 85% uh, that, that that I cannot beat the market. So let's do the same thing for um, Bank of America. Probability of losing money is 20%, very high in comparison to uh, Coke. And uh, if I do here 9%, 60% chance. So um, that is actually, looks like it's better. If I'm trying to beat the market, Looks like Bank of America is better option. However, if I try to not lose the money, Coke is a better option. All right, so let's try the AXP, American Express. Probability of losing money, 9%, not too bad. Uh, probability of not being able to beat the market, 61%. So uh, I guess it's not, uh, it's not that bad. 61%. Actually, the lowest is Bank of America right now. So the worst one is actually Coke, uh, 85%. All right, so let's do the Apple. Probability of losing money, 8%. Probability of not being able to beat the market, 40%. So it looks like Apple is the best company. So now what I would like to show you is that create a report. If I create a report here, forecast report, Now you can see what's going on. This is what I want to see in your assignment that what's the probability of not beating the market, which is, uh, as you see here, 40.3% for Apple. And also I would like to see these numbers. Average return is 11.6% per year. And also I would like to see how much risk are you taking to be able to reach there, which is coefficient of variation. You can see that is 76 percent which is very very high uh, versus i would like to see american express uh, our return is much lower it's 11 something percent 7.5 percent and coefficient of variation is 73 percent it's it is close to apple i see which one is higher 74 percent versus 76 percent apple was a little bit higher risk higher return However, the risk increased only by 2% coefficient of variation versus mean increased quite a lot from 7.5 to 11%. So Apple looks like a really good company in comparison to American Express. Um, if you look at Bank of America, similarly, you can see that the average return is the lowest. Uh, and you can see that uh, coefficient of variation here is very, very high. So it is over 100%. So you can see here that high risk, low very uh, low return. So it's it's not necessarily high risk, high return. You can see that that's not the case all the time. So you are taking more risk here, so much volatility, and you get lowest lowest return in terms of the three companies. Finally, Coke. Um, let's see what's going on with Coke. Um, here, Coke return is five point one percent lowest and uh, coefficient of variation is 71%, which is not that low if you think about it, uh, because you look at Apple as 76%, I believe, and this is 71%. So uh, this is how I would like to see the results, mean versus coefficient of variation. Another risk measure here, you can see that probability of not beating the market. So those are different risk measures that I'm interested in. 
um, please save your report and uh, until next video enjoy business analytics